Okay, dokie, so today we're talking about Punnett squares. So I have a lot of examples, but I just want to go through the simple Punnett squares. So I'm going to use a, and little a, so a is going to be my dominant allele, and then little a is going to be my recessive allele. And we know that when we have a dominant and a recessive allele in a heterozygous individual, then the dominant one trait is the trait that shows through. So this would be homozygous dominant. This would be heterozygous. And this would be homozygous recessives. So on the homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive, I can't, let's see. Recessive. Recessive. Something like that. So homo and homo means same, and then hetero means different. So these two are the same. This is the same allele, dominant ones, same allele. Recessive ones, heterozygous, they're different. So you have each of the different alleles. And those are the names of the type of alleles. So in a Punnett square, we're going to do what's called a cross. And so we're going to look at the probability of getting. Um, each thing. So I'm going to take two heterozygous individuals and I put each allele on each side of the box. So this one you're going to bring the A in here and the A in here, big A, little A, big A, little A, little A, little A. So this A, this A goes here, this A goes here, this A goes there, this A goes there, this big A goes here, this little A goes here, and then little A and little A. And that's how we get, if we took two individuals that were heterozygous, then we would get the ratio of 1 to 2 to 1. So 1 being the homodom homozygous dominant, 2 of them would be, these two would be heterozygous, and then this one would be homozygous recessive. So genotype wise, and the genotype is going to be this, the genotype we would have 1 with an AA, we would have 2 that are a a big a little a and they'd have one that is little a little a that would be the genotype and then phenotype is just the expressed characteristic so phenotype and so if if big a meant black and little a meant white we would have a 3 to 1 ratio because we're going to have these two, big A, big A, and big A, little a, are both going to be black because big A is dominant, and this one would be a white individual. And so phenotypic ratio would be 3 to 1, but the genotypic ratio would be 1 to 2 to 1. And so that's a little bit on Punnett squares. I hope that was helpful.